Floral shops are going to be very busy this weekend. People buying blooms for the special women in their life. So whether you receive or get flowers or give them to somebody else, we've got some hacks that are going to elevate the look of your bouquet, even before, like, let's prolong their life and, mm -hmm. and make them look beautiful even before they die. So let's start with Michelle's hack. What do you have? Okay, well, this first one, this is great, especially if you're on a budget, because yeah. it helps to elevate flowers that might be a little bit more expensive from the grocery store. So let's take a look. Okay. First, get your carnation flowers. They're quite closed. This is because they have a green casing around them. You can peel that back and then play with the petals, and they double in oh. size. Now, to make them well, a little bit more like fancy, you can go ahead and pluck out huh. a couple of the petals in the center, revealing the heart of the flower. <gasps> and now they kind of look like a lisianthus. It's like a or fancier. Yeah. Okay. So this is exactly what Version. I thought when you said, like, it okay. looks, looks, looks like a peony. And it's super easy to do. So it comes I'm just, off, comes back yeah, easily. you just huh. peel off, peel back the green part that's surrounding the flower right here. I mean, if I can do this, because I am not. Okay. And then crappy. you're going to fluff it out. And then you kind of just oh, give them a little that. zhuzh, right? Okay, don't pull and then you can pull out some petals oh. from the middle. Oh, yes. that's actually very pretty. And then you can sort of vary what you're doing as well. So if you take another one, you might not take out the flowers in the middle and then you make a bouquet. And, and he did mention also to get two bouquets, just to make it look nice oh. and full. Yeah. More so, for yeah, less. You can make it look nice and full. I pulled that, I pulled that one a little bit too. Yeah, calm down okay, with the pulling yeah, yeah. here, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. All right. you're gonna I'm going to do flower. another one. I'm going to do another one. <laughs> okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to talk about right. this hack because uh, this is supposed to keep flowers alive longer using just two ingredients. Hmm. I start by leaf lining a vase to hide the stems and dirty water, but you must still change the water regularly. Oh, yeah, yeah. My Sprite and bleach combo keeps the flowers hydrated while keeping the bacteria out. Cut the hydrangea at a sharp angle for the best water absorption, and crisscross the three stems in the vase. I'm only using seven peonies to plug into the hydrangeas all around, and ladies' mantle for optional texture. It's really pretty. Follow from our flower arranging. Okay, I, I love, I buy myself fresh flowers all the time. I yeah. love them, but it's frustrating mm -hmm. that they go dead so fast. So, so Brianna, our producer, actually tried this at home because it takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. This is the bouquet with just regular, like, look at this. That's water. With all, there's regular water. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take this a little bit. This is the one with bleach. Same amount of time. Oh, wow. Same store. Look how vibrant the ones on right? the, that had the bleach look and the that. sprite in them. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do okay. this really quick. Okay. So it's water, as she saw, regular. Yeah. Okay, and then she said just a cap full of bleach. That's all that you need, so that's in here. Okay. I'm gonna try not to get myself dirty. And then the Sprite, it looked like she kind of just counted it, like mm. a one, two. Uh, I don't know what the chemical makeup is this. Feel free to write me a letter. Yeah, what is the know. chemical makeup? I would what love it, to know why. That's a question for Kelsey. I mean, sugar, <laughs> for sure. Uh, sugar. And then I would just give it a little bit of a swirl, and then that's it. That's the combo. I also liked her um, idea of putting the leaf around. To hide it. Right, like, it's a little geeky. Yeah, yeah, it gets like that, and then you're just hiding it. We'd like to hide things. Yes. Yeah. Uh, great idea. These are really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what happens when your flowers die? Um, and then you're mm. like, eh, they're done. No, they're not. Take a look. <laughs> Okay, so you remove the stems, oh. <laughs> excuse me, and you're going to basically dry them out. You're going to dry them out flat in a book with parchment paper, which okay. is what we've done and Brianna, our producer, did for about a week. And then really, like, take a little canvas like this. Not just write white glue. This is white glue, Anne-Marie, just like this. And then you're just going to put them on. You're going to create art here. Okay. Look at this. They're so pretty. Guys, I remember mm -hmm. in the like late 90s when everybody would like dry their roses. Yes. My bedroom upside had down. so many oh, upside, upside down, down. dried roses. Yes. Roses. What, am I, what story am I telling here, everybody? Oh, that's so this sad. This is the story of spring. This is the story of spring that died. But lives forever. That lives forever <laughs> on our walls. I really like this. Okay, so let's see if the glue is strong enough. There we go. Oh, Obviously yeah. let it dry. This there is a go. great like summertime activity for kids, I yes. would guess, yeah. as well. A little bit of a craft afterwards. Yeah, I love that. Summer. Okay, that's great. Okay, I really like this hack. I like mm. this one too. I'm yeah, gonna try fun. this. Yeah. Give uh, it a okay, try. so those are our hacks. I imagine this will be uh, somewhere on our socials. Yeah. Yeah, because these are really great ones. And they work, so we tried them out for you. So mm -hmm. thanks everybody. Uh, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna take a little break. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.